Hare Krishna. When our vision changes from competition to contribution, life becomes a celebration. We live in a competitive world. There are a finite number of seats in colleges, finite number of jobs uh, in companies, a finite number of career openings and the cadet of people who want this are much more and that naturally creates con competition. Now, oh, competition is a fact of life. But when we let it become the defining fact of life, that means when we think that unless I succeed in my competition, in the competition, my life is useless. When we let this become the defining, dominating fact of our life, then we reduce life to a constant struggle. Constant struggle, constant game of one upspanship and insecurity. We think that you know, I have to go up above someone else, I have to push someone else down, or oh, who's going to push me down, who's going to pull me down. And like that, we sentence ourselves to perpetual insecurity. Chintama parime yamcha pralayantam upashitaha kamo paboga parama eta vaditi nishitaha. That Krishna says that when we are caught by externals, and we think this external possessing the externals, enjoying the externals, the goal of life, then we sentence ourselves to unending anxiety. Now, uh, the problem with the competitive attitude is that our goals are defined by external successes. When we shift our vision of life from competition to contribution, that means, yes, we all want to do something worthwhile in our life, but we recognize that we have been given certain talents, we have certain abilities, we may have certain limitations also. We have certain limitations, of course, but the point is that we can strive to become better versions of ourselves. So rather than comparing ourselves with others and competing with others, we can be competing with ourselves. We can be competing to increase our own contributions. This way, we will stay on the path of self-improvement and in this way, we will be increasingly secure because we will see that by focusing on our improving ourselves, we are going forwards. We are doing better. And that way we can avoid the insecurity. In fact, we can get the satisfaction. And this satisfaction becomes deeper and richer when we cultivate a spiritual connection. When we understand that life is not a jungle in which there are different beasts who are trying to uh, pound on each other, pounce on each other, and that might is right, when we see life more as an orchestra, God is in control. And being in control, he has given different people different parts to play. And our goal is to play our part. Swakarmanatam abhyarcha siddhim mindati manavaha. Krishna says in 18.45-46, that section of the Gita, he says, Sve sve karmanya bhirata sam siddhim labate naraha. He says that by working in your own profession, by working according to your own nature, by making your own contribution, you can attain perfection. Or by focusing on our strengths, by developing our strengths, by maximizing our own contributions and seeing those contributions not by comparing with others and what they are contributing, but seeing those contributions as loving offerings to God that He has given us some gifts and now we are using those gifts to do constructive work in his service in this world. What we are is God's gift to us. What we become is our gift to God. When we have this devotional vision of life, then we make tangible contribution and more importantly, life becomes a celebration. A celebration founded on the reality of loving reciprocation between us and Krishna. Whatever we are doing, we are doing our best as, a as an expression of our desire to please Krishna. And because Krishna is the eternal, enduring, supreme reality of life, the more we connect with Him, the more we become enriched by His presence within. And He, he being the source of all joy, uh, living in His presence means living a life of eternal celebration. Thank you. Hare Krishna.